Miners hacked a web of tunnels down through the bedrock, penetrating over 20 metres below the surface. I'm only fighting to manoeuvre my way through here. What you have to bear in mind all the time is that Bronze Age miners had to cut these holes through the rock and then, at the same time, removing the ore, getting it out and the spoil, all the waste, the wrong kind of rock that they didn't want. They had to get rid of that as well. So, the physical effort of all that is just incredible. Just have to turn on my back for a minute. Oh my, just in front of me is the entrance to, well, to call it a tunnel. It's like a, it's about 20 centimetres wide. Uh, it's back filled with rubble at the moment, but at some point, somebody was in there working. Somebody very small, or more likely, I suppose, somebody very young. It's just terrifying. Oh. Oh. So far, archaeologists have excavated eight kilometres of tunnels, and over half the network still remains undiscovered. Enough ore was mined here to make around 2,000 tonnes of bronze. Right at the heart of the mine, several of the copper veins converged. And in excavating them, in mining them, the Bronze Age miners created this enormous cavernous space. Every cubic metre of space has been created by people. This is probably the largest prehistoric man-made chamber anywhere in the world. <laughs> 